Hey, straight up. <laughs> That's a beautiful start, but. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, sh sure. Okay. What, what am I doing here? Uh, hey guys, welcome to the gamer hole. We got a mead in our hole. Do it welcome again. to the hole, Omid. <laughs> Happy to be at the hole. Yeah. Omid is, uh, as you know, the uh, Duke of Loot in Escape from Tarkov, the Man of Mass, the Warden of Weight, the Prince of Profit. I you, amongst many, many names, he is a, a Tarkov streamer, primarily. Other stuff, too. Sometimes he likes to get rip-roaring drunk and play Dark Souls and <laughs> die a thousand times. And... That literally pissed me off so much. I instantaneously got a nosebleed. Look how fucking hard it's, it's bleeding right now. I got so angry. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> Fuck. Very responsible. <laughs> Streaming and drinking right there. I've had a couple Too much of, though, Twitch. Don't get mad now. He's I've had a couple of bad encounters with drinking and streaming recently as well, but you know, we all make our mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> Delete the VOD real quick. Okay. Yeah. Didn't you have a uh, interesting run in with the Twitch uh, TOS drinking was, in a shower on stream? I was stream. banned for picking a shower on stream one time, <laughs> and then I was banned for selling Adam and Eve dildos, which was legal, and they, they reverted the ban after they canceled all my subs. I was always mad about that because, like, I, you know, I got Big Joe 420, who's like had a heart attack and he died last year, and I've been milking his bank account, and I'm not getting Big Joe back. R.I.P. to Big Joe or anybody else out there. But uh, there was that. I was selling dildos for Adam and Eve uh, as like a promotion thing. And I got flagged for it and they banned me without like thinking about it. I sent in an appeal and they're like, yeah, you're not showing anything or doing anything wrong. That's that's legal. Sorry about that. But we can't renew your subs. So that's and then, yeah, one time I got super drunk and I was taking a shower on stream and I had shorts on, but I purposely pointed the camera right above them. So you couldn't really tell there's like a split second where you could see <laughs> shorts. And I think Twitch kind of assumed there was no shorts and they. So had you been wearing shorts, like sh had you shown that you were wearing shorts, you would have been safe. This was like years ago when they switched to TOS where guys couldn't be shirtless. And uh -huh. I did it about four hours before that change went live. Oh, so I was four hours before where I could still be shirtless. So I was really <laughs> walking a fine line. Yeah. Yeah. You almost uh, that timing. Damn. <laughs> you couldn't have waited for a couple hours, huh? So far, Omid, you have not been banned, correct? Ever? Fingers, fingers crossed. Yeah, no. yeah. I know. We went through some you, Twitch you're pulling, clips. You're pulling yeah. some big viewers now. You got more eyes on you now. <laughs> Gotta be careful. I've been going through those clips, you know. Something's gonna resurface here sooner or later. <laughs> <laughs> King's Anyways. Entourage is a Trovo streamer now. Trovo. Actually. Tro no, actually, yeah. I made it back to Twitch. I just tested Trovo. How was it? How was how, your Yeah, experience? how was that? Yeah, it's owned by Tencent. It's uh, like... Please call it call it by its real name. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> Trivago. Yeah, Trivago. Um, I hate that Trivago guy. Trovo is everything bad about Mixer without the really good tech. <laughs> Like Mixer had amazing tech, like there was no it delay did, yeah. and they had crystal clear quality. Trovo is they took Twitch and they made a really small Twitch that is not growing fast at all. And with bad tech, with it doesn't have great tech, like they didn't <laughs> buy out the good tech or anything like that. But you can secure a great rate on a hotel room from exactly. what I hear. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I put money into stocks at the wrong time. They're now going down and I'm crying. Let me tell you, oh, no. <laughs> don't ever put money into stocks and then actually look at the numbers like day to day. It is the worst <laughs> thing in the world. There was a point in March where it didn't matter what you put your money in, but if you put it somewhere, you probably, I think, had minimum 25% profits at this point. So I was waiting. I missed that that March date. So I was waiting for the second one. Mm -hmm. I couldn't quite time it. I assumed it was going to be sometime in September. But, you know, the U.S. being what it is, I guess that second dip already kind of hit at one point. You but guys yeah. are making me feel stupid. Yeah. Oh, come on now. Dude. We're just putting <laughs> retirement money in. I've never done anything yeah. with stocks. Oh, me and I are younger than I'm you and we're, we're putting retirement money away. What stock is, to be honest. It's okay. <laughs> See, the thing is... It's nope. gambling, so yeah, you know that's, that's I do uh, like gambling. I have a bit of a gambling problem, actually. I don't know if you've seen what I've been doing with my WoW gold, but <laughs> I was about to say, yeah, your yeah. WoW bets, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's yeah. talk about. Uh, we we started. We had a we had a time to start this. 
Omid almost canceled on me at three o'clock in the morning. He texted me, hey, are you still up? <laughs> and uh, yeah, I guess he had an interesting night. What what happened with you, Omid? At two, I, I answered Kings. I was like, yeah, sure, I'll come on. And uh, at three, or around <laughs> like 2.30, 20 minutes later or something like that, my brother calls me and he's like, I think I got a concussion. And uh, he sounded so drunk. So I assumed he was drunk as soon as he like... Uh, I answered the phone and uh, apparently uh, while they were pool hopping last night, they uh, uh, he was wrestling with one of his friends and he got kicked in the head underwater really hard. And so he called me to tell me to Uber over to him and then pick him up and drive him because he didn't he didn't he didn't feel good to drive. So uh, I went, uh, I tried to Uber, but uh, uh, somebody already had an Uber account under under my phone number. So <laughs> that that was out of the question. So they ended up, I, who, I ended up. Who uh, had it? <laughs> what? I don't know. The old the person I had, my old phone number or something. Okay. Lorena. <laughs> I don't know. They drove him home. I, I met up with him and yeah, he was super concussed. Very, very concussed. Ooh. Yeah. How's he doing uh, now? Uh, I saw him get up a little bit ago. He oh, okay. uh, he's Shut looking up, okay, man. a little dazed. That's a little good. dazed and confused, but yeah. yeah, you'll be okay. I have had my fair share of concussions. Yeah, and you know it's always at a pool party. Not in my case, but I've seen multiple people get concussed at pool parties. Listen, parents, there are no parents watching this podcast. I'm sure. <laughs> but don't let your kids go to pool parties. They're gonna get a concussion. I've seen it. So many times, stay home and play video games where it's safe. It's like it's cold when you get in, you're uncomfortable, then it gets warm, and what do you do? You just splash around for like 10 minutes, then you're like, all right, I'm done. And then you get, get out, you're uncomfortable pool. again. You're uncomfortable two Take times. Decky. I, I hate pools. It's pool. just not I, worth it. I hate pools. <laughs> that, that's true. It <laughs> might not be worth it. You know, also the fucking sunblock. I'd rather burn than put on sunblock. I hate that shit. I remember the old days when they, you know, you had to put on like a thick layer of sunblock and it was like in the lotion form. And that was just the worst because you were sticky. Ugh. And then if you're at the beach, you just get all sandy. Like, yeah, it's, it's the worst. It's a terrible combination. It's like tar and feathering right. yourself. It is. Cream and sand. <laughs> Nothing worse. I don't usually burn, but last time it was, it was gruesome it was gruesome i came back and my stream uh, i was just red there's nothing i could fix it <laughs> whatever filters i hit it just, it just looked <laughs> red and i looked at the previous vod and i looked at the current vod and i was like oh my there's nothing i could do about that i just i got roasted twice i got roasted by the sun and then i came home and i got roasted by my chat <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of being burned, Omid, <laughs> would you would you mind sharing with us uh, your your worst injury? Okay, so I think my worst injury. I'm very lucky. I haven't broke anything. Um, I did fracture my arm when I was little, uh, around the first grade. I climbed this That's a break, big ass isn't that a fracture. Uh, well, you know, I didn't black out the limb. I didn't need a survival kit, so <laughs> yeah, I didn't need a splint. splint. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, and I fixed it up. Up till this point, I loved climbing things. So I went up to this tree uh, in the back of my yard, and uh, I got up pretty high. And uh, uh, at that point, the first time around, I had my parents watching, and they like, you know, they they just you know made sure I came back down. Second time, I went up again trying to trying to climb the old tree, and uh, uh, I got stuck up there. The, the way back down wasn't uh, clear, so uh, I started yelling for my dad, but he's uh, he was mowing the lawn. He couldn't hear shit, and I'm How probably old? yelling. Ah, uh, first grade, so I, I don't know. Okay, okay. I, I was like, been... how do you get stuck in and not know the way down? But okay, that makes sense. I was, yeah, I was thinking that... of like a a 14 year old Omid. <laughs> no, no, no. It was a, nah, it was a young it. child. You <laughs> His parents watching you cry and climb a tree at 14. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I started yelling out for my dad and he's, he's just like mowing the lawn. He can't hear me. So I'm like yelling for like 10, 15 minutes. I'm like, all right, I got to <laughs> Got to get, got to jump. <laughs> and uh, I had wa I'd played a good amount of the Uncharted games by this point. And uh, if you played Uncharted, you know, Nathan Drake, he just he jumps from whatever height, but then he rolls onto the ground mm. and then he's fine. So I went for that. 
and uh, the roll is a lot harder than uh, <laughs> I anticipated. So I just landed on my forearm, and I, I just like was crying and screaming in pain for like maybe another 15 20 minutes but nobody came so i just kind of like <laughs> got up and went inside with my mangled arm and i went up to my mom and she's like what what was wrong with you you know and uh your dad probably got a, in trouble too <laughs> at least yeah. you were young like my yeah. brother did a very similar thing when he was like 24. We were all in the woods and there was a tree stand in, in the middle of our woods. And we were like, this is, shouldn't be here. We got to take it down. And my brother was like, no, 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 I'm going to climb it. So he climbs up. He decides that instead of climbing down, he was going to pull vault. So he grabs a tree, yeah, like a dead tree. Or he had my brother bring him like the dead uh, tree. Gotcha. And then he used it to like swing down on the ground. And he thought the same thing as Omid. As long as I roll, I'll be mm. fine. Classic mistake. <laughs> well, he didn't realize that there was mud on the ground and his foot got stuck in the mud. And then when he tried to roll, it broke his ankle like completely. And it was like his foot was backwards. And then we had to carry him out of the woods. But um, at least you're, when you're young, you can kind of get away with like, oh, I was just dumb, you know, and young. Uh, when you're 24 years old, I don't think you can use that same You're excuse. just dumb. Yeah, you're just dumb. You're, <laughs> you're not, just yeah. dumb. Well, I did. I jumped out. When I was like 25, I built a tree house. What's with all you guys in the tree shit? Yeah, let's, that, that's another story. I was, I was like, man, I'm an adult. I'm going to go do something that I should have done when I was a child. Uh, that was a weird time in my life. But yeah, I built a tree house, and it was like 20 feet high. I didn't injure myself. I jumped out of it. And because I was trying to kill a turkey, like a turkey, like gobbled its way under it. Mm. And I was all like, I could land on that bitch. <laughs> and, and I had only like a hammer. And I was like, if I had the story to say, I killed a turkey. And then I like ate that shit out of my tree house. I didn't get the turkey though. My, my, that I've was, never really broken. That, that was your thought to kill the turkey. Like, I'm just going <laughs> to pull myself. It's, it's actually animal. like, dude, it has this long story. Like my dad, when he was a kid, Assassin's had a really, <laughs> had a friend. <laughs> With the blade. <laughs> okay, sorry. It made more sense in my head because my friend, my dad, when he was a child, had a friend or like when he was in his 20s or something that went turkey hunting. And I don't remember the circumstances, but he ended up jumping on a turkey to stab it but he stabbed himself in the leg. <laughs> so in my head, I was all like, I could recreate this, but not stab myself mm. with a hammer. Mm. Um, it, it was, that's something else. But uh, yeah, I was fine there. It didn't break anything. I've only broken my pinky finger one time and my middle finger another time. Uh, my pinky finger was in, I was like fourth grade. I took it out of my pocket and it snapped. That was it. Classic. There, I, I don't know what I did. I never, I didn't drink milk and my bones were weak <laughs> um the other time i broke my middle finger i was on a plane going back to the u.s to see my family and and i just i was like super late for the flight just got on sat down there was this like mom and then her like 14 year old like girl next to me and then me on the, like the window seat <laughs> and so like we're about to take off but i've been like running through the airport and like my boxers had gotten all like wrangled up my legs yeah and and it was it was definitely a, a mess down there. You gotta and I was fix like, that I need I need down. to fix it. Yeah. But I didn't have time because they were all like sit down and all this other stuff. And I was like, can't do it with this like teenage chick next to me. So I I was all like, all right, I'm just gonna wait. I suffer with this. But then she got up to go adjust her bag or something when we were taxiing, and I was like, yes. Yeah. So like I pull up my pants, reach down real quick, and all I hear is like, <laughs> and I pulled it out, and my finger was like a lightning bolt. It was like. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and like i remember i was like slow i was like i'm gonna black out i'm gonna black out because i was like getting i was like oh my god what's happening what's happening because i was like can't do anything now they already shut the door and i was all like i don't know what to do so i was just kind of like sitting there holding it they like the girl came sat back down and she like looked over she's like you're really pale are you scared of flying and i was like <laughs> yeah <laughs> So I just I just sat there with a, like a zigzag finger uh, and then I had a layover in Cancun. Um, so I get to my family's house and I go to my aunt. She was a nurse and she's like, oh, my God, we haven't seen you in, you know, like six years, Sterling. How are you? I'm all like, my finger's broken. <laughs> and she's like, oh, my God. And then she put a pencil, like splinted with a pencil in. I never went to the doctor. You should have said something to the attendant. You could have gotten free booze probably, man. <laughs> yeah. You could have just had it poured, bro. You could have been wasting the whole Keep them coming. Yeah. Keep them coming. I was, I, I was in like, I was terrified. I was just like, 
what am I gonna do? It hurts like fuck. I'm just sitting here and and I I don't know what to do. So I just <laughs> I just sat there. You you broke two fingers in both with pants. Related. Yeah. In my pants. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he got some very brittle fingers, Decky. Or strong pants, man. Yeah. You gotta yeah. go get some like, sweatpants or something. Wearing, you know, like, some really jeans aren't for you. Canvas <laughs> pants, apparently. We were at like a friend's house, like a family friend. I was a kid. It was like a pool party. Pool parties. And my dad was like standing near the edge of the pool or something, and like tried to like hop in the pool. But his pinky toe, so imagine this is pinky toe, like got hooked on the ledge of the of the coping of the pool and just went <sighs> like that and just broke off. And he didn't want to make a scene <laughs> or like ruin the party. So he just started drinking like a psycho <laughs> to deal with the pain. <laughs> and then like just sat there the entire party with his toe hanging on by a thread. Literally got so drunk that my mom yelled at him like, why are you so drunk? And he's like, I, I broke my fucking toe. I was trying to not ruin the party. And he ruined the, the party by being a drunk idiot. That's yeah. awful. Oh, my God. Yeah. Man, so so what Ak was saying is you could have been the drunk idiot on the plane rather than yeah, the yeah, sober idiot have been me. and ruined the flight. <laughs> you see my fat knuckles? Yeah. Those are reinforced, double-plated <laughs> Those are gamer knuckles. Been, my fingers have been through some serious trauma. Haven't broken one. I've actually never broken a bone. I've just dislocated everything. Skateboarding. I was trying to grind a rail, which uh, is very scary to do. But you see how I can go like this and touch this shoulder? Mm -hmm. On this side, I cannot reach my shoulder. It just <laughs> stops right here. It looks like you're faking it, but that's a no. What? I'm not. I see the jerk. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> got to enhance on that. It, you genuinely Ooh, can see. It now it like just locks up right here, and I can't. Mm. I have to scratch like that. I can't. <laughs> I can do it on bar, this side. Yeah. But, <laughs> but so yeah, I uh, this elbow. You know how like your elbow bends like this. Well, yeah. when I fell, it this part of my arm went like that oh and like like up and it was really not the greatest <laughs> that that hurt a lot and then at the uh hospital some man just grabbed me here and here and just went and yeah. i could put it back into place and that hurt a lot too that was probably my worst injury actually it was either that or when i was pogo sticking in a garage i was on a pogo <laughs> stick did i tell this story already no, I've heard it. Stick. I've heard it. But... I was pogo sticking in my friend's garage, and there was a car in there that had leaked some oil. I, I think on the floor, and I was jumping real high, like really, you know, going to town on this thing. And I hit the oil slick, and I was like boing, 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 and then just like boing, boing, and then just slip out and like didn't even let go of the handlebars or anything. I was just like like that into the cement and uh, I was knocked unconscious and had a very bad concussion dislocated my nose and my teeth went through my lip ha oh. um, that was bad <laughs> those yeah. those are my two worst injuries do you yeah. have one on me no and I don't think any of my friends had one we had a, a rip stick which was oh, like yeah. a yeah 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 so th there was yeah what how old's Omid? he's talking about playing uncharted when he was like in first grade 21 21 he's a baby okay boy. that is yeah yeah, yeah you can, he's like what's a pogo stick exactly <laughs> <laughs> no i'm, I'm See, seated you were playing uncharted when you were six we had to jump up and down on a stick yeah. <laughs> that's what we had for entertainment <laughs> This was turned into like, like old man <laughs> podcast. Yeah, it's either that or get in the house and play battle chess. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, or the chess. Windows pinball game. <laughs> that's all we had. Perfect time. Spent Perfect a lot of time, time with that Windows pinball game. Oh yeah, yeah. I played that a little bit. I think. Uh, yeah. Wasn't yeah, that wasn't that what you did when you went to your friend's house? You try to get the high score. That way, your name was like on their computer all the time or something. Yeah, like, and then you wrote A S S. Yeah, you write something weird. Yeah. <laughs> what a boring time that was. <laughs> like, you really go to a friend's house. You both sit there and take turns playing Windows pinball <laughs> for hours. Yeah. I had an original Nintendo, uh, and I had like a kind of Mario, but pretty much any other game we had was all Christian games. 
they, they which, made like, Christian they games? They made proper Christian games. You could look it up. Uh, Fruits of the Spirit was one or something, and then they had another one where like you were Noah and you had to like build your ark and go and collect two of each animal. It was I'm it was a bunch of cheap, weird right. stuff like that. <laughs> that could easily have been me because like my parents were super against games. They thought, especially shooters, because they thought if I if I played a shooter, uh -huh. I'd just go to the army. I had to trick my dad into getting my first shooter. I bought a game called Freedom Fighters on the PS2. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, I had to, I told him it was a game about lawyers. Uh, Freedom <laughs> Fighters. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, oh, Freedom shit. Fighters, <laughs> the game about lawyers, <laughs> fighting game about the law. Yeah, yeah your, your yeah. dad was probably happy too. He's like, oh, my son's going to be a lawyer if he plays this. <laughs> That's exactly what he thought. <laughs> yeah. But they would read it too. They'd read the back and go like, nudity? Sexual themes, oh, yeah. violence, graphic yeah. violence. Uh, and you'd be like, no, no. Let me tell you something, okay? There's one scene they wouldn't, they wouldn't take it. <laughs> I was exposed to everything at a very young age. I was playing GTA. I was watching Pulp Fiction when it came out. <laughs> like my dad was like, hey, you want to see a cool fucking movie? <laughs> <laughs> he, just, he just pops in Pulp Fiction. Yeah. I'm like 11 or something. <laughs> I turned out fine. Yeah. Yeah. I know I went to, um, we were going to a movie to watch Lord of the Rings, I think. My friend, actually, mother said that he wasn't allowed to watch Lord of the Rings because he wasn't 16 yet. What a pussy. Oh, sorry. Oh. No. Sorry. Yeah, no, it was I bad. I even got to watch Lord of the Rings. Yeah, Lord of the Rings is like nothing, but his mom was like, nope, can't watch that. That was the best theater experience of my life. If what? I remember correctly, Omid oh, has never seen any of the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> he get the fuck off this podcast. <laughs> Why did we have you on, you piece of shit? I forgot that, to tell you, yeah. this is exclusively a podcast about Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and no mead, you're you're no longer qualified to be here. Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. You need to watch those fucking movies. Yeah. Like this week. Yeah. Um, what about the Hobbit though? The movies. Uh was they garbage. had their moments, but they were shit. It was terrible. It was like it the was... prequels for Star Wars. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. don't get Omid like started. The prequels for Star Wars. I watched them at the perfect age. They were they were they were designed for me. Fuck this, this podcast really is a bunch of old guys talk to a young guy. It's weird. <laughs> Care to share uh the grossest thing that's ever happened to you? Damn. Yeah, I can never think of that many gross things. Really? Yeah. I my life has been filled with gross things. Well, what <laughs> like... do you consider gross? I mean, we talked about this last time, I think, but like... I don't know. Walking down the street and a bird shits in your mouth. <laughs> that, no, you I've know, never... Something like that. I've never you know, had that happen. never happened to me or anything, so... I mean, yeah. King shat in the woods. I shat in the woods, too. That oh, yeah. yeah. That's not gross. Shitting in the woods is cathartic. It's therapeutic. It's not, not gross. Well, <laughs> it, was, it was just because it was like on the way... On the way home, I was really sick, and it was like... It was just gross, you know? It wasn't like a cathartic, <laughs> fun shit. So nothing, right. no need. No, I just remembered. Uh, I okay. was uh, this one winter. It snowed really, really hard, fifty inches or some shit. And um, we, uh, I decided I was gonna make some, some, some money, and uh, went to uh, shovel all the uh, driveways. And we, we uh, by the uh, like third driveway, we started like having other kids help out, and we would cut up the money. Probably by the like eighth driveway, ninth. All of a sudden, like I strained myself, and I just shit my pants. And I was packed in in clothes. Like I had layers on, layers oh. on. Layers. It was, and I just oh, had to I like that was wrapped up, huh? I had to like penguin walk home, and and uh, I, I opened it, and it was like it was opening that was horrible. It was like opening <laughs> taking, a tauntaun, taking a uh, shit in a pair of snow pants. <laughs> yeah. By the time I got home, it was that was disgusting. Was, oh, you went. You strain yourself though. Like I've never done something so bad where I just shit myself. I mean, it was a lot I of snow, man. I shit myself <laughs> without, like, I, sometimes you just, you know, you're doing something and it just, you, you just push it a little too long. It's like, okay, I'll go like right when I'm done doing this kind of thing. Sometimes you let a <laughs> fart out and it's just, that, that you too. shouldn't have. Yeah, I've had both happen to me. When I was a kid, I was just playing Nintendo and I didn't want to get up to do what I had to do. And <laughs> you were like the not, not yet guy. <laughs> Yeah. Not of. yet. 
<laughs> literally shooting your pants but, right there. It really it went from like not an issue, like not an emergency, to like, oh my god, this is like this is happening very quickly to my defense. All so right, when's yeah. the last time each of you guys shit your pants? Because it happens from time to time to everybody. Are we talking like right, full on? You shit your pants, you shit your pants. That's yeah. that's it. Like, <laughs> you know, I'm just talking about a little bit. Yeah, no, I've never full on <laughs> that, that's what I saw Aqua in my head. <laughs> Oh, no. There's a little piece fell out. I'm just gonna the let it happen. <laughs> no, dude. Yeah, but the last time, just on my chair, and uh, you know, <laughs> that editing. very chair. No, thankfully, I switched this chair out. See, not he because was, of the. He was waiting to finish something. He was doing same thing. It can happen. <laughs> I, I mean, I just, I, it was, it felt like not a normal yet. fart. You yeah. know, no, nothing, nothing about the fart felt suspect at all. And uh, I thought I, I thought I knew my body, and I let it out. And <laughs> big mistake. Body. Yeah, my yeah. dad shat on the couch uh, about three years ago. <laughs> the exact same way. <laughs> I'm oh. sure my dad has, dude. He thought it was a little bit of gas, and he just he just shat on the couch. <laughs> I mean, I imagine it's got to get worse as we get older. There's, There's no way it gets better. You shit on your family's couch in your living room, just like my dad. <laughs> I don't recall the last time. I'm sure I have. Well, good for yeah. you, Decky. I, th I think it's just something that you I didn't, are. you know, put into my memory bank. We're all very do you, impressed. Do you have a good like routine? Is 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 that maybe that could be a part of it? You know? No, I'm not one of those. There's some people that you know, like they only go in their own toilet and everything. Like they oh, they will okay. like. I was wait. Yeah, same. They're like paranoid. Mm -hmm. He right. runs home in the middle of lunch in high school to go like take a shit or something. Yeah. Uh, I was there. I was never. I don't like using public oh, toilets or just anything. Hold it. But I uh, actually, when I have to go, I search for a public toilet. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like to do it. At yeah, home. I leave my a house. Little, little extra thrill, you know. What I mean, <laughs> I like the thrill of someone knowing what I'm doing. <laughs> Somebody, yeah. somebody out there listening to this is all like, me too. Yes. And he's like fully yeah. relating to Aqua right now when Aqua's joking around. I'm just kidding, though. Uh, whoever you are, you're gross. Don't, don't do that. You need help. Yeah. Part of the reason I don't like shitting outside is because, uh, you know, when I get down and dirty with it, uh, you know, sometimes I have to go with the naked pooper, you know, so... You can't really do that. Uh, what the is naked that? He's a naked I mean, pooper. I'm a naked pooper, man. I let nature, you know, just gotta wait. So you take fully off disrobe when you poop? Sometimes, yeah. Most, <laughs> I'd say it's seventy-five percent of the time. I, wait, you know, really? Like, Why? Like, that's this is a is. thing. Listen, first of all, you know, it's this is a time of relaxation. All right, all right. So I disrobe. I just I I you put I get on a prepared. robe and light candles and shit. <laughs> Oh, I don't put on a robe. That's the whole thing. Is uh, you okay, make it? Okay. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, okay. but but the candles is nice if you have them. Around. <laughs> you know, like pooping for me is like a time of just sleep. It's like I got my meditation time and my pooping time. I, I multitask. You've you come know? a long way since that time, my friend. I'm in and out. There's there's yeah. no leisure with me. That's a special time, all right? That's personal time reserved just for you. Have you yeah. talked to other people about this? If you do this, leave Not a really. comment below, please. If you fully disrobe when you poop, I we need to know. Please. If you're if you're naked right now, pooping, <laughs> you have to tell us. It's that very also. possible. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try it. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Maybe you're onto something, Omid. Although I, I like to just get in and out of there as quickly as possible. Actually, Kings knows quite a lot about my uh, schedule mm -hmm. and habits because for some reason, whenever, in case you're not aware, Kings is something of a manager of, for me. Whenever I talk to him and we start talking about anything serious whatsoever, I immediately have to shit because he makes me so nervous. <laughs> my bowels just loosen. <laughs> I just have to go to the bathroom. Like, yeah. It's amazing. I'm nah, making it's... through this fucking podcast podcast right now it's it's a true story and i'm drinking coffee too i i know that like as soon as i start talking anything business oriented <laughs> there's gonna have to be a quick little break you know like it's gotten to it's, that point it's very weird i don't know what that is but anyone else uh want to take take a stab at something to talk about yeah i want to know something 
Yeah. I want to know what that Daisy stuff, that Daisy mystery is, Stradecki. Oh, Cause I, God. I saw this, this it's literally, literally, if you've seen that scene in, uh, it's always sunny with, um, uh, yeah, Charlie, with Charlie Kelly. Yeah. Pepe, Pepe Sylvia. It's literally that, but with Stradecki and Daisy, there's some kind of riddle going on in Daisy. There, <laughs> there are circle graphs. There's a PG, uh, uh, periodic table there's there's so much the server admins decided to have this event and i don't know who this guy is but he made this elaborate story all these different weird hints it's got weird capitalization it's got weird grammar i have been bringing in like cryptologist everything i can to figure this out and i had a huge twitter thread and it's been like a week over a week at this point of trying to figure this out because apparently we don't know what we're looking for. We're just going all these locations, looking to see something out of the ordinary aluminum, the moon, all these weird dates, all this other stuff. But the only majorly concrete thing that we have is that he's like, well, I can, we have a little bit of the, the thing here. <laughs> <laughs> and well it's it's hard to like see here but memento or something so i spent days going from point to point to point and there's never anything there and i've seen a couple other guys talk about it on like the server discord and everybody's like we have no idea what the fuck this is yeah. what server is this it's baby nades island and the weird thing is that the bottom of it he's all like it is worth your time to figure it out because there's like monetarily there, there could be like a bitcoin account that, or something the guy's name is like crypto something something i was it's like a dude, bitcoin it account we figured it out yeah. we'll post on the thread <laughs> bitcoin <laughs> wallet, yeah. it's a wallet code thank you so much for watching the gamer hole just a quick reminder if you uh want to see some exclusive episodes as well as behind the scenes and uncut versions of uh the episodes you see here on youtube or if you just want to support the Gamer Hole, check us out on Patreon. Uh, it's linked in the description below. You get all kinds of fun little perks in there. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next episode of The Gamer Hole. <laughs> <laughs>